on him getting that hook out. Easier said than done. He said he's going to be a real new experience from this year. Jeff Adrian hitting the jumper from the foul line. Still can take the boys even if they're not as talented as the boys. Way throws it up from there again. This one didn't get anywhere near the rim. Adrian got a piece. Johnson kick out Dyson. He already has two threes. This one's a little bit deeper. Rebound inside Adrian. And the foul. Draft pick. Better hair. Price with the foul line jumper. Rebound down. Mario Anderson. He dribbled it off his foot and Adrian picks up the loose chain. And another opportunity for a three-point play. You know, he's been the most consistent threat along with Jerome Dyson at the offensive end. They need better production out of A.J. Price. Well, they're getting it out of Adrian tonight. He's got nine. Defended by Jason Wilson. Loses the handle. Then feeds Adrian down low. Well executed. It's another defender because Hashim, Hashim Tabi can't go through the rim and block the shot. Winnipeg is on an 18. Adrian down low. Up and under. And he drops the contact and somehow sends it in. Shots. Neither one has made it to the rim thanks to Tabi. <laughs> this time it was Adrian Tabi. Anthony Johnson with Adrian's hand in his face. He did in the shot clock for the Huskies. Osprey finds Adrian in the lane. Adrian really thinking offense early in the season. Arkansas. Down low, Nero wants to go, and Adrian, and Adrian would have none of it. Fifth block shot for UConn, third for Adrian. Inside, Marcus Johnson down lower to Adrian, and the foul. Hey, watch them on a game-by-game -game basis in a linear fashion and see how much they improve. Adrian. This is the shot. Rebound slapped out. Siggers, ball fake, blocked by Adrian. He's sixth in the Big East with block shots. Connolly blocked by Adrian again. 90. UConn down by one. They had to go 94 feet with one second left. And Adrian lays it in. And Jim Calhoun sweared after that game. 16th turnover for Albany. Adrian, foul line jumper. Well, putting up some points. Connecticut at 75 points is to beat down low. Tip Adrian no good. Stays with it, reversing his got it. Man goes to Tabit. Ahead of the pack is Adrian. Laying up with the right hand, and it's good. Looked like Princeton's offense there for a second. Looking for the back to a cuff. Nice turn away there by Adrian on the block. Putting it on the ground on the floor. There's Schubert and had it turned away. There, coach. <laughs> I'm retired, son. <laughs> <laughs> well, Oscar Adrian. may have gotten away. Adrian may have gotten away with a little extra shuffle there. I don't know if it was a, in that in the Big Ten uh, AC. I mean the ACC uh, challenge there. Big Ten. Johnson stick back. Adrian gets a roll. First two of the night. The Division One basketball. The beat wasn't expecting a pass. Grabbed it off the back iron. Tip not there. Adrian on the try. Jeff Adrian works hard on the offensive glass. We're undersized, but they're gritty in this game. Price of the free throw line, Adrian has two. Positive effect throughout that Northeastern program. The beat got the elbows up high, no call though. Adrian down low, forces his way through traffic and muscles in two. Bounce pass. Dyson on the baseline. Adrian, two more for Jeff Adrian. He is so strong. Another freshman from Birmingham, Alabama. Here's Adrian. He's the team leader. A veteran as a sophomore has two chance for a three-point play. You gotta have that freshman year in at least. But he will stay two years at UConn. That's his plan. I'm assist a young guy like that. He jumped at the opportunity. That's great. I mean, especially when you know each other like that. They connected to see that the parts are starting to fit together rather nicely. Martinez hits in the other end. Look at Adrian. Two more. Big night continues for Jeff Adrian. Adrian promptly throws it away, stolen by freshman Curtis Kelly, number 14. Down low, Adrian up and over Collins. You know, St. Mary's has some versatile kind of guys. You know, a guy like O'Leary can play the three, the four, the two. 13 miles to the east of Oakland. Down low, nice look. Austria to Adrian playing against either and you know with the with the game going up I don't think screening the pressure out front is effective down low Adrian and Adrian is in double figures with trying to draw the foul on Sam Ann. Adrian in traffic with a little jump up UConn coming the other way this is Price 
Now in transition, it is Adrian underneath, and he lays it in. To Adrian. Pass down and under. Reverse, he is missed by Marcus Johnson. UConn's got it back, though. Adrian puts it up and in. Medical issue. Life-threatening brain hit. Adrian hits in the lane. Wiggins back to Price. Nice pass underneath to Adrian who lays it in. Juniors or seniors. Got some talented youngsters, including that guy Dyson, who misses. Rebound though underneath to Adrian who powers it back up and in. He's just a monster. Just an absolute monster. Keeping the man in the middle and throwing it all the way across the court. That's what Pepperdine is trying to do. That shot is blocked by Adrian. They didn't play a great first half. They've played pretty well here in the second half. Nice block there by Adrian on Gallup. Scoring a little bit more. Uh, Robinson missing the jam there. That's not going to help. Adrian now throws one down. Just about everybody except Rob Summers has a green light to shoot the three. Big on the inside is Adrian. And that's something that Connecticut will try to do all day in the passing lane. But this time, Price comes up with it. Foot on the line. And another offensive rebound. Adrian the putback. And Adrian not a true center, so he doesn't anticipate as well as, say, Fabit would or any other shot blocking center. Adrian right there. Do you wonder about Adrian? He's... Dyson looks down low to Adrian, and he takes it right to the rim. Bob, nice to see Jeff Adrian getting it going early, but it's. And one personal foul. He got into foul trouble in Morgantown on Saturday. Adrian down low, the fade. Love that shot for Jeff Adrian again. Three on two as Dyson left and Price right. Rebound inside Adrian. He's 13th in the country and rebounded. He can score. Let me see if he can play any defense. Great job by Bozeman. Dyson had the wide open three. Great look, Price to Adrian. What a pass. A very inexperienced basketball player, and from time to time you see it. Yeah, you talk about a year in high school, and, and you know, he's... Off the defensive boards, and they're trying to take it away. You can't swing your elbows. You got to use your pivot foot to get away, not the elbow. Boy, Adrian is absolutely on fire. Austri with the runner. Rebound batted out, winds up in the hands of Adrian. Counted in the foul. Come part of the offensive set. He hasn't touched the basketball. He's got to get going. There is Adrian, a little strong. Follows the miss, takes a bump, finishes strong. <laughs> 347 last year and under 300 right now. Dyson, who says he likes to drive right at people, being a former football player, and Adrian cleans up the mess. See, Adrian can take Davis right now with those two fouls going to the basket. Nice there it is. Through. The call coach, last two dimes down the floor. Adrian has gotten the ball both times. Going baseline. Sets up Hayman. Sent back. Hey now. Connecticut again this year, the number one block team in the country. They would be there six years in a row if they could pull it off. And Adrian with a face up. And they don't jack sick, but turn around move. Try to make it happen the first time you touch the ball. Adrian down low and triple team. He got through. Hit partially blocked. Stays alive. Adrian goes up and scores. See, that's Mark. That's UConn's trademark to put the quick hoops out. Adrian bangs one off the back rim. Where's he gonna go? Austin. Adrian wants it against Burke. Nice spin. Goes up. Beautifully done by Jeff Adrian. Four minutes down low. We'll go to Adrian. Adrian with the right hand. McNeil down low. They go to Hayward. Shot clock at seven. And it over. Wiggins. Down to Adrian. And they did foul him. Can you believe they fouled him? That's unbelievable. 65-58. Bill, who has battled knee problems throughout his St. John's career. Goes to the goal. Adrian got a great big handful of that one. And leading the cheers on the sideline for his compatriots. Down low, Adrian. Inside gets Ooh. right around Calhoun. Ooh. Three fouls in the first half, sat out the rest of the half, picks up an early third, second half. Adrian, baseline jumper, gets the friendly roll. We'll visit seventh ranked Pittsburgh on Tuesday. Adrian around Hamilton. Browser, by the way, now playing professionally in Germany. Bates inside. Good position nice for Adrian. They're doing a great job getting post position inside. That's Maria Sharapova, That's right. one of the favorites. Price, nice drive, and the layup brings UConn back within a point. Nice little skip pass over yeah. the top.
Adrian on the drive and the jam. That's the big play out of the Super South with the strong body. Like a forgotten guy last year because of their cast of characters. For this year, he's one of their key options. He's their leading scorer and rebounder on the season. Look at the emotion on Adrian's face. A free throw can tie this game. Down in Chapel Hill, I'll catch up with you Monday in Louisville. I'll be with Mike Patrick and I'll see you in Louisville, Rick Patino's club. Adrian uh, looking like the go-to guy. Loose ball rebound. Robinson scoops it up. I'll tell you, he's going to be a good player. Count it and a foul. Adrian will go to the line. Good down. Here comes Wiggins. Pushing it straight to the bucket for the freshman. No, but Adrian is there for the foul. Bassett with a step. Has it knocked out of his hands by Adrian. Very close to being able to. Oh, not a good shot there. But good offensive rebound again. That's yeah. Jeff Adrian this time. Additional time as you go down the stretch. And hopefully Calvin can get some contribution from his bench, but Wiggins crossing over, rise and fire. Marcus Johnson rebound. Lost it. Adrian got it on the foul. Stanley Robinson played really well against Indiana. Hatchett got a piece of that, but the follow on the glass for Adrian. And again, that's... Calvin Sinatra of coaching, an entrepreneur. And getting back to what you were saying off the top of the show, as Adrian knocks it in, you think both of these teams... Jenkins with an offensive rebound. Adrian blocks it away. They've turned the ball over nine times already. Adrian, 15-footer, is there. He is having himself a big night. That's a lot of freshmen on the floor. Is they're never going to give up on the play. Adrian catch and shoot from the foul line. Down low, Adrian. Kick out Austin. He leads the team in three-point accuracy. Adrian tipped it up once, and Johnson gets the miss. There, Adrian to clean up. Boy, UConn's killing the Friars off the board. St. Williams was about three feet to the left of the rim. Adrian catch and shoot again. Of course he meant to use the play. <laughs> Six rebounds. Final minute of the half. Adrian's jumper. He's got eight. Now at ten. Price penetrates and gives to the putter. Adrian, nicely done. Great decision. Great defender. Didn't learn to really score the basketball until his last season. Adrian in the lane with the jump hook. But Adrian has 13 points. Wemmy of the Juke will really set the tone, but letting Herbert Hill touch it early in the second half really helped open it up. Adrian with the jumper, he's got 15. Stanley Robinson in the lane, blocked by Pauley. Adrian, foul line jumper. He's got 17. Gets it to leaves it up and in. Nice job of getting the ball. Chandler on the bench with four times. Adrian shot partially blocked by her. Adrian goes back up with it. Will they count it? Yes, sir. This is the best they've played since that time. They're really playing well. This is what people expected of DePaul going into the year. 11. Dyson to the bucket, and there is Adrian to finish. First round. That yeah, was first silly. round. Amazing. Yes. Silly for them to be high, that highly regarded. Tell you one thing to look for. Uh, first team to score you know, usually wins the Super Bowl in a large percentage of the time. Providence, Connecticut led by 11 at the half. Friars came out on a 16-0 run. Concerted effort, Don, to get the ball to Adrian. And Fabid, who had eight points and eight rebounds in the first half, but he's been, um, hasn't gotten any touches here. What is wrong with that? Nothing. No. Kicks in at the Hartford Civic Center. Adrian with a good pivot move, a bank shot. It's a four-point lead for the Huskies. Virginia shoots the most threes in the league. And uh, does it very well. And now a turnaround shot. And the uh, UConn Huskies extend. Here is Griffin, who's hit four three-point shots. Again, takes it down low. Rejected. By Griffin gets a good look. He drives to the basket, but a lot of people around. Jeff Adrian and Marcus Johnson right on the play. A three-point shooter takes the ball to the basket. I don't know. Can we give both guys credit? If he goes out after one year to the NBA, he might get one contract and never see the NBA again. Adrian from just inside the elbow. 
Dice in the most recent three. Wright had trouble with the dribble, threw up a wild shot. And Adrian rejected Harris's. Price with Gorman defending. Boy, Gorman's closed out very well defensively tonight. Adrian banks it home. Well, he hung tough. Devendorf turned the corner. The beat swatted it. Now Wiggins with Nichols back. Adrian the follow. Well, one mistake opens it up, gets everybody excited. Just for Connecticut, Roberts and Watkins have fouled out for Syracuse. Devendorf had it swatted by Adrian. Semifinals, 48 days for him today. There's that strength of Adrian inside. Beautiful job on his part. Crindon thought he had a piece of the ball. Adrian just spits it away with a great win for the Big East and West Virginia. Good uh, underneath, Adrian. Yes, indeed. It's no fluidity to the game whatsoever. 46-31, 11-05, and no fan participation, really. Great job by yeah. Adrian there, realizing he did not have the prop. 7.30 to go. The one positive factor for Connecticut, Adrian. Jeff Adrian. Wiggins penetrates down low. Adrian, that's a high percentage shot. That's a nice job right there. Nice. Punts out a shot, front rim, tip Adrian, good. Seton Hall lead. Adrian lost it, got it back. Jump hook, no, rebound Garcia. Adrian got it back again, and one. That's just work right there. Really good job sagging inside by Bobby Gonzalez's club, but Adrian just stays with the point. Just leave it at that. Adrian, free field, challenge, and he makes it. Stay in contention. This has been a very just a low scoring half court type game. Oh, oh. by Adrian. Second row. Make that first row. Get out of that zone. They're taking too much time. We're gonna put pressure on man-to-man -man style. Here it is. Adrian goes glass. That's textbook on Harvey denying him the ball. Blocked again by Fabit. Leg blocked by Adrian. Stroke we talked about it before the game. Even Dorf, another block. This one by Adrian. Starts the fast break for the Huskies. Brown off street to the left hand. No. Blocked away underneath. Adrian got it, and they call the jump ball. Coming out of that timeout off the Syracuse run. Adrian, who's 0 for 3 in the game, finally gets on the board. He was scoreless to that point. And here's a guy, urgency on that possession. Adrian trying to answer over Watkins. Pretty move. Masters, they enjoy the teaching and the coaching. That was way off. Harris to the one hand, swatted away by Adrian. All right, how about Roberts going out now? Falling out with seven minutes left. A lot of time left in this game, and there's the man who could take over inside. No time. Adrian with the block, shot clock violation, sir. Here's the conference and rejections for a game. Adrian, after the miss free throw, gets free right low block, hits off the glass to Rutgers. Here's Adrian trying to establish himself against Inman with the two fouls. Nice move, Jeff. Adrian. Game. I mean, you have to come out here and try to compete. It's still the Yukon Huskies you're playing against, and a win against the Yukon Huskies is a win. You have to come out here and try to build and develop for next year. Senior swingman and the captain. Who said this week is home games are running out. Wants to finish strong. Speaking of strong. Jeff Adrian, minutes of the game since then, really changed. Yeah, Inman a spin, had it blocked. Adrian got a piece. Now that's a play they love to run that pick and roll with Inman. Step back for the, the jumper. Adrian jump hook responds on the other end. Sweet looking move by Jeff Adrian. Five to shoot. Wiggins from long range. Not there. The beat up high. Adrian chance for a three point play. Hashim the beat. Big rebound and feed. And Adrian finishes. The beat at 7-3 on Tadge at 6-11. That's rejected inside by Adrian. Dyson, three pass inside to Adrian. And a turnover, and that's the fourth against Louisville. And Adrian over Williams. Johnson. Now it's Adrian over Johnson. Nice job by Connecticut to get the ball inside that Louisville zone. They are undefeated with a halftime lead this year. Adrian over Padgett. Put it on the shelf for the rest of the game. Well, the thing that's made him so successful over the last four games during this winning streak has been passing the ball. Adrian. Well, you guys really come out shooting, and that's going to... 
Clark against Adrian. Oh, what a rejection by Adrian. Chances of making the NCAAs is going to be real slim. Absolutely, it is a tournament game for Connecticut. Adrian. After the pro draft last spring, I guess there's not a great deal of surprise that they would have their staggering moments this season. It's tapped in. Clark in the lane. Had it blocked. Connecticut leads the nation in block. Huskies pushing it with Wiggins. Austri's three and not there. Adrian sticks it home. UConn within one. Team winning four in a row. Top four seeds get a bye in the first round. It's the beat misses, but Adrian does it. And Connecticut has the lead thanks to a 9-1. to one. Look at this pass. Look, watch that catch. Now, he brought that one down below his numbers. But there you see Adrian. She came to double and help out a little bit. On the beat, that always opens up a run to the rim or a lane to the offensive glass. The way they defer to the freshman and encourage the scoring. Adrian, nice job on the low block. Bradley with O'Brien turning pro. Complacency down at LSU. Rebound by Adrian. And he got fouled as he put it in. Six games entering this game. Price, nice pass, and Adrian able to finish. Connecticut within seven at the six minute mark. Shot clock inside of 10. Nardi finds Drummond. Great block by Adrian. And get ready to get a foot back. Adrian banks it in nicely. 20 well, points now for Adrian. But they get a lot of their misses back for second chance opportunities. Adrian. Jeff Adrian certainly has been playing very good basketball. 6'7", 238, a sophomore. Wallace, Rivers, Ewing, Hibbert, and Sapp, the 5-1-D for Georgetown. Down low, Adrian going up strong and scores. The beat has got the size advantage on the inside with Sapp at 6'3", covering him, but the jumper drained by Adrian. Adrian. Adrian warming up nicely. He now has eight points for the Huskies who are up by one. Losses, they're, they're going to be a very dangerous team come tournament time. Maybe a breakthrough year for Adrian with the score fouled by Ewing. Is Derevic and also Kenny Izzo are in the game for the Hoyas. Adrian with the slam. Steven Dorn. Watkins passed up the little jump hook. Ooh. Harris had it thrown back into space by Jeff Adrian. Well, Seed has to play at noon. I'm not sure how much of a rewar uh, reward that really is. I think playing at noon can be awfully difficult. Oh. Well, that's, that's a reward if you advance, though, because you have more time off as you go. Very late in the recruitment process, went to Connecticut, and that stung caused the hard feelings between St. John's and Connecticut. Throw it away to Gavin Edwards. Adrian is all alone.